ways to improve your technique. And you can put this into any training session that you do. So you start off with doing 20 perfect side kicks. Then 20 perfect round kicks. Then 20 perfect front kicks. Then 20 perfect hook kicks. And then 20 perfect crescent kicks. And after you do all of those, then you switch legs and repeat. Now this has 200 kicks total. And that's a lot of kicks. What I mean by perfect is that you do it where your foot position is correct on your base leg, where it starts from your ankle and goes up to your knee and your hip and your shoulder. That's all a straight line. And your pivot is correct, pointing the opposite direction of your kick. And then you have your chamber and your hands up. And then the trajectory is correct. It should be straight forward for a side kick. And it should go at an angle like that for a hook kick. Um, then your knee chamber is correct, just like that. And then your return is just calm. It's not like a big stomp or anything like that. So that's your perfect kick. And you can apply that to all of those different kicks. And every time that you switch legs and repeat this drill, um, go a tiny bit faster. So that way you can kind of go back up to normal speed. And then that's what you can do normally in your form. And this puts it, ingrains it in your muscle memory. So that way when you're under stress or like under pressure at a tournament or a belt testing, then, and you need that default to rely on, then this is your default with this, with these perfect kicks because that is what you've been conditioned to do because you've done this drill so, so many times. Now I have to get to doing this drill.